But I've been too caught up to see it, baby We can have it all If I just could get myself together I'm not wasting another minute If it goes up in flames, I'll take the pain If I never try to get it I can just forget it I'm done playing the waiting game Good morning everyone, welcome to, actually it's not morning, I completely lie, it's a quarter to twelve, I have had a very slow morning, so I did mention on my Instagram stories that on honeymoon I ended up with a cold, and because I was on honeymoon and didn't want to ruin it, I kept pushing myself and probably didn't rest as much as I should, so my cold is still there, it's still on my chest, um, and this morning I just woke up, I felt really, really tired. I've been off work for the rest of the week. Not off sick, I've just had annual leave. So Paul's been back at work and I've been at home and it's been lovely because it's been almost like I've been playing being a full-time homemaker and it's been really, really fun. I've been so productive the last two days and then this morning I just woke up and had very, very little energy. So I just had loads of cups of tea in the living room, was watching YouTube and then I thought about... 11 o'clock I really need to get myself into gear so I went in the shower got my outfit on hair and makeup and now I feel a little bit more human and ready to face the day so I wanted to welcome you to another video I'm going to be doing a homemaker day in the life today I have quite a lot of cooking to do so I'm going to bake two cakes I have um so for my thank you for my weddings I wanted to do cards I didn't want to do like text I wanted to go the traditional way because I feel like cards they take more effort and they're so much more thoughtful but on top of that for people who went above and beyond for our wedding day like the priest and um people that did certain things for it I want to make cakes for or give gifts for so I've got two cakes for that to make and then I'm also going to be making a lasagna for dinner tonight so I've got a lot of cooking to do and just generally a slower homemaking day at home so I wanted to take you along with my day I really hope you do enjoy it I feel like I've not done an informal vlog in a while a lot of it's been like just fully cleaning videos which I love doing as well um, but I just wanted to do a bit more of an informal relaxed style of video today so despite having a slow start to the morning I'm feeling ready now to go and get my homemaking gone it just goes to show that no matter how late in the day it gets it's never too late to just restart refresh get in the shower get dressed and I feel like sometimes if you wake up and you're feeling low energy it's so easy to get in a rut and then for the rest of the day just be really unmotivated and get nothing done so I like to do that just do a little oh my arms hurt <laughs> just do a little refresh and then yeah we can get our productive head on for the day so I hope you enjoy this vlog so the first thing I need to do is I've taken Murphy's bedding out of here and I'm going to give it a good wash so I'm going to put that in the wash he's not I'm going to show you him <laughs> someone asked in my are you okay you all right someone asked in my last vlog to show him more I'm showing him today but he's really not well are you baby I'm going to call the vets, I think, again. We did take him the start of the week, but he's just not improving. He's itching his skin loads. He's definitely not got fleas because he's been defleed, but then he's been sick as well this morning. So I'm going to call the vet again today, but I just want to wash his bed in just in case there's anything on that um, that's upsetting him. You all right, little man? I think that's why I feel a bit off today as well, because whenever Murphy's not well, I really worry about him. <laughs> Be like the stars I've been a million miles away But you've been in my heart Somewhere Okay, so I've just called the vet and we've got an appointment for today at quarter to three. So I've got about two and a half hours until I need to leave. So I'm going to leave the cakes for today and do them tomorrow. And then I will continue this vlog into tomorrow as well. I'm just going to keep it really simple for today. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed. Murphy's feeling a bit overwhelmed. I feel like we just need a very slow, minimal day. So I'm going to go and prep the lasagna now. 
and then I'm just gonna take care of my little puppy. Lots of cuddles for Murph. <laughs> Are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess I should have been honest. It breaks in my heart. It's weighing me down, baby. I'm like a river that's overflowed. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. Too late, but I can see past the rain. Won't you lay it on me? Turn the page and burn it. Let's make up a big bonfire on the beach with the stars as our lighters and throw our problems in. Together again You are back 
Okay, so I've got the lasagna prepped and ready. I hope it's gonna be all right. I feel like I didn't put enough pasta in it, so that's my one worry that it's just gonna be all meat and cheese and not enough pasta, but we'll see tonight and then I can always adjust it going forward if it's not quite right. It looks good though, so I'm happy enough. So I've got all this mess to clear up now. I've been listening to some Spotify, then I've got my meat stuff here. I had a bit of a nightmare with the cheese sauce. It literally, I didn't watch it for a second, it went over and burnt the stove. So I'm gonna have to try and sort that out. So I'm gonna do a little clean up now before taking Murphy to the vets. Okay, so that is the lasagna prepped for later. It's now quarter past two, so I need to go soon for Murphy's appointment. It's only around the corner, so I might be able to sneak in a quick cup of tea before we go. But I really hope that lasagna turns out all right. I'm worried now there's not enough pasta in, but we'll find out later. <laughs> I had a nice little dance and singing party, which in my head I thought, oh, it might look quite cute on camera, and now, I'm thinking about it, I'm probably gonna look like an absolute nutter and probably gonna have to like edit out <laughs> some bits, but Murphy joined in for one point. So that's all I matter about. He was happy for one moment, he came running to me and it was really cute. So I'm gonna have a quick cup of tea now and then we're gonna go off to the vets and see what they have to say. 
So I've taken Murphy's bed out the wash which is there and luckily we have underfloor heating in the kitchen so I'm going to put that on so that dries for him tonight and then I've just put a load of tea towels in there so I'm going to put that on a fast wash of one hour 60 degrees just to kill any bacteria. I ended up using so many tea towels sometimes I do that when I'm not confident in what I'm cooking I end up just being really messy so I'm going to put this on for a spin now and then we need to get going. Okay, so we're back from the vet now. They can't see anything obvious, but they've given me some um, steroids. <laughs> so Murphy needs to have two um, steroid tablets a day. So he's not eating today. So what I'm gonna do, he's gonna get excited when I say this word, but I'm gonna make him an egg. <gasps> yeah, <laughs> his ears pricked up then. So I'm gonna make him an EWG. <laughs> and I'm gonna put his tablet inside there. So I'm gonna do that now, and then I'm gonna sit down with a cup of tea because after saying I was gonna have a slow day, it's that lasagna took me much longer than planned. Then over to the vet, and then I got stuck in traffic. So it's actually nearly the end of the day, and I've not put my feet up at all. <laughs> so I'm gonna make Murphy his little after, well, it's like four o'clock now, so it's like breakfast, early dinner, and then hopefully he eats that. You getting an egg? Oh, you like egg. Watch his little head tilt. Egg. <laughs> egg. You get some egg. It's your favourite. <laughs> He's got his little half tablet there, so I'm going to try and bury that in the egg. He'll probably eat that. What's this? Oh, you've been very good boy. You're waiting for it lying down. <laughs> I'm whacking his tail. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you can eat it. Eat it. Oh, just look at me. Do you want me to go away so you can enjoy it? Oh, you're having to think about it, aren't you? <laughs> All right, I'll go away. Sometimes he doesn't like being watched to eat. <laughs> Okay, so I've made a cup of tea and I've been a bit cheeky. I've got some Bakewell tart that I bought yesterday. I have actually got homemade cake in the fridge as well, but I had that last night, so I'm fancying a different sweet treat. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have this cup of tea and cake and then I'm gonna edit the footage that I've got so far for today and then see where the rest of the day takes us. Murphy's fast asleep. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I wake you up? Oh, I'm sorry he was fast asleep, he was snoring. Go back to sleep. I'm sorry. Okay, so I've just edited the footage we've got already and we're already at 18 minutes. So I think I'm gonna leave the video here, despite not making the cakes as promised, but they are just standard Victoria sponge cakes. I do have the recipe on my website. So I'll put that link below in case you were looking forward to watching me make that and wanted to get some ideas of how to make it so i'll just link my website below with the blog post that the recipe is on so i'm going to end this vlog here what i'm going to do when i do make the cakes i'll film myself doing it and the next time i do a homemaker day in the life i can insert the footage so that footage will be coming <laughs> i just don't want this vlog to be super super long because i feel like people get bored at the end of vlogs so i'm going to end it here if you have enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and i will see you in my next one